Most people think car accidents and accidents involving semi-trucks or 18-wheelers are handled the same. This thought couldn't be further from the truth. There are two major ways that these accidents differ. First, when you're dealing with a typical car accident, you generally have one person who is responsible for causing the accident and that person, through their insurance company, would be the only person obligated to pay the injured party's damages. However, when you're dealing with an accident involving a semi-truck or 18-wheeler, not only is the truck driver who caused the accident potentially responsible for the damages caused, the company that the truck driver was working for at the time of the accident may also be responsible for paying the injured party's damages. Second, truck drivers are not only required to follow state safety rules when operating a semi-truck or 18-wheeler, they must follow federal safety rules. These federal rules are very strict and they outline, among many things, the type of specialized training a truck driver must have before operating a semi-truck or tractor trailer, and how many hours a truck driver can actually safely operate a vehicle before taking a break. These federal rules are key when it comes to holding a truck driver and a trucking company responsible for causing an accident. Therefore, I cannot stress enough how important it is for an individual who is involved in an accident with a semi-truck or 18-wheeler to select an attorney who is experienced in handling these type of cases. I'm LaShonda Council Rogers with The Council Farm. We are dedicated to helping you achieve the best outcome possible at trial or through settlement. For a free confidential consultation or case review, contact us because our firm cares.